Okay, hey, hi, I'm the Veil Guy on behalf of Radar Busters. We are driving cross country testing a bunch of detectors and we find ourselves in Silver Spring, Maryland. days ago we came through this uh, road here this is a route south 29 south, uh, south 495 heading into uh, Silver Spring Maryland and we had a radar detector on our board it was an escort and it alerted and I thought it was a false or a car and as I played the video back that I had saved to the event I realized there was a box here and it looked like photo enforcement so I did a little research and it seems like in November of 2022, uh, Maryland made a purchase of 90 Poliscan FM1 scanning LIDARs, which is what this unit is. And they've placed them throughout Maryland, you know, greater DC area. And we happen to come across one here. So I wanted to ex introduce you guys to it for those who are not familiar with it. Uh, apparently Maryland is replacing some of the older uh, radar based systems and this is a lidar scanning lidar multi-lane very difficult to beat uh, my guess is it's uh, i don't know if we can get this direction as well as going away you know cars that have uh, front plates on the back which everyone does obviously it'll be easy but those who don't have them on the front i don't see how this could work because the uh, the ir illumination and the flash are facing this way so it's uh, very difficult to beat. This isn't marked in ways at the moment, and like Red Flex, what we found in Paradise Valley, we suspect these things can be moved around. If you look at Vitronic's website, you can see these units. This is the kind of housing, there are different housings, and like the Red Flex that we saw, they can be moved around and shuffled around. I think. Uh, these are only permitted on uh, streets that are 45 or 35 mile an hour posted limits or less or school zones, not on interstates, at least these types of devices. But, uh, you know, even uh, with the Escort that we ran, the MaxScan 360, and we're going to run more detectors to see. We didn't get an alert. We did pick it up in the rear to credit to Escort to have a rear laser sensor. But of course, by that time, you're in the kill zone unlike even a red flex radar which puts out a low power uh, radar you can pick it up before you come to the source even if it's pointing away from you to get you in the tail here with lidar you're not going to get that alert until it's too late so if you don't have ways you know uh and it's not marked you know you, you may get nailed before you even know it but uh Anyway, we did test the unit in R8, it alerted to it. We're going to run them again now that we know the source is here both ways. We'll record them, you'll see how it looks like. Uh, we did have a TPX jammer on board. It did not alert, so it certainly didn't attempt to jam, it didn't even detect it. We spoke with TPX Adaptive, made them aware of this. We're going to be sharing our videos with them and they're gonna get with the manufacturer and I think there may be an algorithm, hopefully update, where they'll be able to pick up Poliskin with a good sensitive laser receiver like, you know, TPX, uh, any jammer would have mounted low. You may get an advanced warning, uh, at least coming towards it. Uh, coming, you know, going this way, unless a car's getting uh, targeted ahead and it's a reflection, I don't even know if it can see a reflection off the tail end of the car. At any rate, we'll run our detectors against this. We'll see what we can find. Ooh. We got laser. But we got a false. They both went off. Okay, the Poliscan FM1 is right passing it now. And we did not get an alert on the... Uh, Max 360 Mark II. Coming back, and the Poliscan FM1 is over here to our left. 
we get no alert from the Max 360C Mark II. Okay, we are uh, coming back to the uh, Vitronic Polyscan FM1. It's on our right side, getting vehicles going our direction, and there it is. We're passing it on the right. No alert from the uh, Escort Redline 360C. Here we have the Escort Redline 360C. And the Apollo Scan FM1 is to our left. And there it is. We do get an alert. Laser alert. But well past. Okay, we are coming now with the Escort Max Cam 360C. Seem to do well detecting this. The uh, Poliscan FM1 is on the left side. We did get no alert this time. Okay, we have the Escort Max Cam 360C. We're passing the Poliscan now, FM1. No detection. There it is. Laser. Emergency recording on. Okay, we're coming back, passing the Poliscan FM1, the Maxcam 360C. Oh, somebody just got flashed. Must have been this car that just passed me. There it is. There it is. Laser. It's right there. Okay, we're getting it from the back. Okay, we have the unit in R8. And we'll see how this does versus the uh, Poliscan FM1. It did alert one time when we came through initially. There it is. What are we getting? Nope, RT4, that's a false. There's the FM1 over there. No alert this time. Okay, Union R8, Poliscan on our right. Targeting from behind, there it is. Passing source. No alert. Okay, Union R8, Poliscan FM1 on the opposite side of the road there to our left. No detection. On a second pass. We'll share this with our manufacturers and see if, uh, you know, there can be some firmware updates or at least to be able to better detect these. So, thanks for watching.